I like to begin every experience of worship with a proclamation from the Psalms which proclaims this is the day that the Lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Now that seems like probably a unusual way to begin a service of remembrance in honor of someone that we love and uh, we know that there is grief and sadness and sorrow but in the Lord's eyes it is a day of rejoicing for her for we know and God certainly is faithful in providing her the inheritance of God's eternal kingdom. God promises a day of rejoicing for her in the glad reunion as well as in the gathering of all the saints and as we come into God's creation to remember her and to honor her life and her faith we too in heart and spirit shall be at peace in our rejoicing for the love she has shown us God's love and for the love we hold for her now and forever it is Jesus who proclaims faithfully I am the resurrection and the life says the Lord those who believe in me shall live even though they may die and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die Jesus says I am the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end the first and the last I died and behold I am alive forevermore because I live you will live also that is God's promise and God is ever faithful in fulfilling God's promises to us as the psalmist proclaims our help always is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth and so it is that this day and in each new day the Lord's name will be praised let us pray our God, I thank you for this gathering of family and friend and for their devotion of heart and spirit unto you. I pray that through this time you will again renew your gift of peace to them, that they should be assured that where Willa is is an eternal kingdom of rest, fulfillment of her hopes, provision for her peace, expression of her exceedingly great joy and always a revelation of your love for her. Be with us, Lord, that our hearts too may find that place of rejoicing and rest and that we may be renewed in healing of our hearts and spirits in commending her life and faith unto you forever. We ask this blessing in Christ's name. Amen. I share with you a reading from the scripture which is very special to me. It is also written in the book of Psalms. It, I believe it uh, reflects so very, very well Willa's expression of faith. She lived her faith. Uh, she spoke it by living it. And that is the best witness that anyone has the opportunity to provide on earth is to actually practice and live his or her faith unto God. The psalmist writes, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord will not let my foot be moved. The Lord who keeps me will not slumber. The Lord who keeps me will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon my right hand, so that the sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep me from all evil. The Lord will keep my life. And the Lord will keep my going out and my coming in from this time forth and forevermore. There's not enough that can be said about Willa as a child of God, as a believer in Christ, as a disciple and follower who led us and inspire, inspired us. My promise to you from the very beginning of all of our times together is that she will continue to lead, to guide, and to follow. As God shepherds us, God provides us shepherds, I believe, 
Willa is a shepherd of heart and spirit in her love and compassion and in her devotion to you especially as family and friend. I have saved this reading from the book of Proverbs for this time because as I listen to your reflections and your expressions of love for Willa, your gratitude for all that she has given to you and to us, I think of the goodly God godly good woman written of in the book of Proverbs. I'd like to read you selected portions of this chapter from the 31st chapter of the book of Proverbs that speaks of a godly good woman and I think you're going to recognize her. I think you're going to know her through Willa's life and faith. The 31st chapter in the book of Proverbs. A godly good woman, a capable woman who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She works with willing hands. She rises while it is still night and provides food and care for her household. She girds herself with strength. Her lamp does not go out at night. She opens her hands to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. And she is not afraid for her household, for her household are clothed in royal crimson. Her husband is known in the city gates. He takes his seat among the elders of the land. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she smiles at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom. The teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. And her children, they rise up, and they call her blessed and happy. Her husband too, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm may be deceitful and beauty may be vain, but a woman who loves the Lord is to be praised. We give her a share in the fruit of her hands, and forever her works will praise her within the city gates. As a pastor in the Church of Jesus Christ, I proclaim with you the inheritance of Willa as God's precious child of God's eternal kingdom. She found her rest on earth. She found her place and her purpose. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it's proclaimed for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. Willa discovered her purpose, her time, her season on earth as a wife and a mother as a relation and a neighbor and a friend, as a leader who guided and shepherded us in the ways that are good. She built community among us. She was a neighbor. She was a friend. She lived with all the attributes of godly love, the kindness and the patience and the enduring quality of her hope. She welcomed neighbors and friends. She had the gift of hospitality and affirmation and acceptance. And truly, you as a family know the purity of her heart. And so it is that you rise up and we rise up together to call her blessed and happy. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Let us pray. Our God, you have given us, Willa, to reveal your love on earth. And we thank you, Lord, for the heritage and legacy and the very foundation of her faith and life, her love for you and her love for others before self. We thank you for hum her humility, putting others before herself. And we thank you, Lord, for the joy that she brought through her words and her actions. We thank you for her loyalty and devotion to family. And we thank you, Lord, for her generosity in sharing that spirit of loyalty and devotion with a community 
that truly pays her the greatest tribute. Lord, you open your gates to her, for she is your beloved. You created her. We are thankful. I pray especially, Lord, that we may follow her path of faith and trust, that we may not know fear or doubt or hesitation in pursuing the good and godliness of our works after your example in Christ Jesus. Abide with this gathering of family and friend, that truly, Lord, they may rejoice in you and know you as their good shepherd, in which they will have no want. We ask this blessing in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I shared with you as a family the words of the disciple John, from the disciple John, who gave us a vision of that a heavenly kingdom. And I only read a portion of that because I want us to be in this place in God's creation in full knowledge of the inheritance that Willa enjoys. I see no temple in the city, it is written, for the Lord God, the Almighty, is its light, and all bring their glory into it where there is no darkness. She needs no light of lamp or sun. She sees God's face, and the Lord God is her light, and there she shall reign forever and ever. We shall not forget her, and we shall not forget the love that God instilled in her to share with us. Nothing will separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. It is written that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the proclamation for her goodness and her godliness that we not lose heart, that we believe even though our outer nature may pass away, our inner nature is renewed. As God prepares for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, we forever look to the things that are unseen to us now, for we know that it's the things that are unseen that are eternal. Our assurance is, if the earthly tent we live in passes away, we indeed have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Let us pray. Into your hands, our merciful Savior, we commend your servant and child, Willa. Acknowledge, we humbly pray, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a child of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your divine mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of all the saints in eternal light. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 It is written, Blessed are those who die in the Lord, says the Spirit. They rest from their labors, and their works, they follow them. As a friend and as a pastor in the Church of Jesus Christ, I proclaim with you and among you the passing of Willow, the beloved child of God, believer in Jesus Christ, from the church militant which, where she served so very faithfully in loving God and loving neighbor, to the church triumphant, where she indeed reigns forever and ever. Our hope forever is in the Lord. Now may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and our minds in knowledge of God's love for us that we too may believe and may follow in loving God with fullness and in loving one another as God has first loved us. 
God loves us and God will shepherd us through the valley to the mountaintop of seeing the face of our Lord eternally. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. share the words of the 23rd Psalm as I began my time with Willa in her passing we now entrust her into God's eternity with familiar words that she knows well by heart I pray that these words will take root in our hearts as well that we may remember that we are never alone the Lord is my shepherd, I shall. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There's a wonderful hymn of the church where the faithful are walking in the garden and recognize Jesus and Jesus recognizes them. We've created a garden here in the love that you all share with one another and with her and with the Lord. And perhaps the flowers forever will symbolize the new birth of Willa as God's precious child. You may bless the earth with the flowers if you choose.
singing away, you know. <laughs> you really? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's journaling it. It's just the best one getting too sad. We have the chipmunks with that. <laughs> I said to Wally that I think that's a little touch of mom so that we have a little distraction. <laughs> It was natural, nature's distraction, okay? There was a slight breeze. Very slight, very slight. It was on you, all right? I think that was me with my little car.